As introduction, let us see what is kinship terminology. All societies recognize kinship relationship, which may be broad range or narrow range. Kinship relations of these diverse systems of kinship are reflected in their respective kinship terminologies, particularly kinship terms of reference. The degree of kins, primary, secondary, and tertiary are referred by specific kin terms or equated to certain focal terms. The primary kin is the person who is related to ego directly. Secondary kin is the kin related to ego through a primary kin. Tertiary kin is the person who is related to ego through a secondary kin. For referring and addressing the kins, certain kin terms are used. The kin terms function to classify kins into different categories. First, they classify particular kinds of persons into single specific categories. Secondly, they separate different kinds of persons into distinct categories. Generally, two or more kins are merged under the same term when similarity of status exists between the individuals. These similarities are then emphasized by the application of one term to both individuals. Then, let us discuss on language of kinship terms. Kinship terminologies obviously form a sub-language that classifies kinship universe. In other words, kinship terms are lingual expressions of differentiation and classification of kinsmen. The term kin was adopted by Andrew Lang and F.G. Fraser, and it means the relatives. Henry Lewis Morgan was the first anthropologist to see that the terminology was a method of classification and as such, its study led to the understanding of kinship systems. To accomplish inert concepts, a kinship term is translated into English as exactly as it can. It may not be translated simply by the common or garden variety of English kinship terms. For instance, among the mighty of India, the term itai is both English cousin and brother-in-law, and not yet exactly either. It requires a dialect of English specifically constructed to specify the semantic scopes of the mighty category refer as itai by means of terms that stay within each bounds and do not overlap them. Among the people, it means women's speaking term for mother's brother's son, older than ego. Father's sister's son, older than ego. And husband's elder brother. For this, a Nostan dialect is necessary. Murdoch introduced a set of two letter abbreviations. Another single letter set developed by Rodis Livingstone is also gaining acceptance. The notations may be FA in two letter abbreviation or F only for father, PA or P for parent, SO or S for son, DA or only D for daughter, M O or M only for mother, B R or B only for brother, S U or S only for husband, W I or W for wife, 
S I or Z for sister then S I or Z refer to sibling then S P or E refer to spouse then the word E or elder for example M E Z means mother's elder sister what is E then M Z T within bracket means mother sister's daughter older than ego likewise Y or younger employed in the same manner then the symbol of Mars is used to signify man whereas the symbol of Venus is used to signify female in this way the concept terminologies are used in every persons now let us discuss on kinship terminology and global taxonomy of terminological system morgan who studied kinship terms from all parts of the world coined the still used nomenclature for the two broad categories of kinship terms namely the classificatory and descriptive systems of kinship terms in addition to the two categories of the kin terms gp murdoch added another category as denotative term lawi independently invented a fourfold taxonomy of kinship as generational bifurcate merging then bifurcate collateral and lineal types of kinship terminology system murdoch the statistical anthropologists recognize six major terminological systems of different societies in the world as Hawaiian, then Iroquois, Oma, Crow, Sudanese, and Eskimo. Now let us focus on the classificatory and descriptive terms only. Under a classificatory system, several people, lineal as well as collateral, and often even a final are all referred to by the same term of designation. The term classes them as similar. A descriptive term of designation describes the speaker's exact relation towards him or her whom he or she is referring to or addressing. In his study of the Iroquois, Morgan discovered that a kinship term may be used to designate a number of persons. Thus, one's own father, his brother and cousins, and even more remotely related men of his generation are called by the common term, which means father. The same thing happens with the other side of the family, the mother, her sister, cousins on her side, and so on, are mothers. Since a term is used to refer to a number or class of persons, Morgan term such kinship systems as classificatory. It is also known as Dakota type of nomenclature up to the name of the people among whom it was first discovered. Among the Maori, all the grandparents' generations are grandparents. All of the father's generations are fathers. And all of the mother's generation are mothers. All persons of ego's generation are brothers and sisters. And all of the children's generation are referred to is on children. The general system of Hawaiian type merges the three genealogical kin types, father, then father's brother, and mother's brother under a single term, and the kin such as father, sister, daughter, mother's brother's daughter, then 
father's brother's daughter, mother's sister's daughter, and sister are under one kingdom. Lawi recognized such systems as generational. Bifurcate merging systems of the Iroquois, Oma, and Crow types merge the father and father's brother under a single term, but employs a different term for the mother's brother. Number of societies with descriptive kinship terminological system is rare in comparison to that of the classificatory system. In this type of kinship system, the terms expressing blood relationship are distinguishable from that of collateral lines. Bifurcate collateral systems of the type Col Sudanese distinguish three kin types by employing three distinct terms for father, father's brother, and the mother's brother. In the Igos generation, the Sudanese also have different terms for FZD, that is father's sister's daughter, MBD, that is mother's brother's daughter, FBD, that is father's brother's daughter, then MZD, that means mother's sister's daughter, and Z means sister. In classifying various societies, Morgan scheme kinship terminological system is follows. Classificatory systems of kinship include Ganwanian, that is American Indian, Turanian, and that is Dravidian, and Gaura or North Indian, Chinese, Japanese, and unclassified Asiatic, that includes Burmese, Karen, etc. Then Malayan, that includes Hawaiian, Maori, various Micronesian, and Oti, enough Zulu. Then Skimo. And under the descriptive system of kinship, he includes Aryan, then Semitic, Uralian, that includes Ukraine, Turkey, Estonian, Magyar, etc. As studied by Morgan, the descriptive and the classificatory terminologies bring forth three distinct meanings. First, the difference was purely lexical. Classificatory terminologies consist simple phrases only, under which many genealogical kin near and far are classified. Whereas descriptive terminologies consist a set of primary terms for close kin and these primary terms generate compound or phrasal terms to denote more distant kin. Second, they bear a semantic sense. In classificatory systems, genealogical notes are accumulated into a small number of large classes, while in descriptive systems, the knot of genealogical tree are distinguished in the terminology. Third, the contrast bears a sense of dispersion of bloodline. In classificatory systems, several collateral lines near and remote are merged into the linear line, thus theoretically, if not practically, preventing a dispersion of the blood. On the contrary, the descriptive system has the collateral lines distinct and purposeful divergent from lineal which results theoretically as well as practically in dispersion to blood. Thus, the three contrasting senses define the two systems as follows. Under the character of the contrasting senses, that is, lexicon of the kinship, classificatory terms have only the simplex terms, whereas in descriptive systems, simplex and complex terms are formed. Then, under the character of the genealogical kin types, in classificatory systems, these are found as synthesizing, whereas 
these terms are analytical in descriptive system. Then, under the character of the terms of collateral and lineal, in classificatory system, it is MERS, whereas in the descriptive system, it is distinct. Now comes the ending part of this discussion, that is conclusion. In all societies in the world, there are terms to refer or address different persons who may or may not be a kin. Based on their terminological system, global taxonomy of kinship systems are prepared. Morgan was the first to work in this area. He distinguished two kinship terms, classificatory and descriptive. Later on, other classifications have also been attempted. They classify particular kinds of persons into single specific categories or separate different kinds of persons into distinct categories. Mm -hmm.